Of all the comedic dramas about creative people in big cities struggling to make their lives work, Netflix's love is closest to being a straight drama. The show's central couple, Mickey, Gillian Jacobs, and Gus, series co-creator Paul Rust, realize that they probably don't belong together by the end of the first season, and yet they still try to make things work. In the second season, there's still plenty of hijinks, the characters do mushrooms in one episode, and crash at a rich TV writer's house in another, but the show gets darker and grimmer as the relationship tightens around Mickey and Gus, pulling in their issues with addiction, self-esteem, and their parents. Ahead of the season premiere, Vulture sat down with Rust, Jacobs, and co-creator Judd Apatow to talk about the dangers of dating creative people, writing dialogue that doesn't sound overwritten, and why the hell Mickey and Gus stick together. I think season 2 is them giving it a go. I think you see them at their best and their worst. They are, I think, choosing to ignore red flags that are obvious to the audience. You get to see them getting along and enjoying each other's company and then also just terrible things happen. In addition Paul said that's the fun of having characters who are self-aware. It makes it more interesting when that person knows it and ignores it. Season 2 gives more of a context and understanding as to why these characters are the way they are. They are trying to make it work, which doesn't mean that they still aren't their own worst enemies. You get to see that they do get along. They do enjoy each other. I've certainly been guilty of staying in relationships for too long that I knew needed to end, so I think that's a pretty human experience. When you have a difficult parent who can be charming on the surface level, it's really hard for other people to see why you're so hurt by them or frustrated with them. It's a very common experience of, having someone say, I don't get what you're talking about. They seem great. That's the most angering thing. You just want to be taken at your word, 